helped Elton and David become part of this and become producers? Well, um, one of uh, my dear friends and a producer on the Off-Broadway production, Anthony Barilli, and I wrote a, a screenplay many years ago for Ben Stiller's company called Showstopper. And um, during the course of this, the movie, a new Broadway musical is being mounted. And um, it's about a theatrical family. Anyway, long story short, Elton came on board and David um, about two years ago. They teamed up with Ben's company as producers, and Elton is writing the musical within the movie. And, uh, and Anthony Barilli, who's also a producer on the Broadway production, and I are writing lyrics with Elton, which is like crazy, thrilling, like, what? And uh, so that's how uh, Anthony got him involved in this production. We already had a working relationship with him. And also, if you see the play, everything it stands for, Everything Elton and David have stood for as individuals and as a couple for, for years kind of resonates in this place. So it sort of seemed really like a logical fit and very organic. We're like the little play that could and, and miraculous things keep happening to us. I mean, I live in L.A. and I came out to New York to do a play for three weeks. And look, you know, I'm, I'm on Broadway and Elton John is my producer. What? I think that it's a play that represents a lot of different groups, and not in a political way, but in a way that, in a way of kind of recognition, that when people go see the play, whether you're, you know, a gay person or a straight person or a left-wing person or a right-wing person or whoever, there's something in yourself somewhere on the stage that you can recognize and appreciate and that's treated with respect and humor all at the same time. And I, uh, my feeling is that's what people really like about the play. The writing is such a great caliber, the acting also. And it's a, it's a very poignant subject matter. It's very relevant. Uh, and what's going on in America, especially today, with Don't Ask, Don't Tell in the military, with gay rights, uh, with all the religious things happening in America. It, it's, um, we're not that far apart, us human beings, in the end. You know, we all want to love somebody. We all want to be held. We all want to care about someone. And um, that is the basic right of every individual, to be able to love someone who, legally, that they love. And uh, that's, the, that's the big point for me. Such a great play. If I weren't in it, I'd really love to go see it. It's funny. It's smart. It's provocative. It really um, is extremely entertaining, but it makes you think, which sometimes can be mutually exclusive. Um, but it's a really smart, interesting uh, look at faith and family, and I think almost anyone can relate to at least one, if not six, of the characters in this play. It, you know, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a roller coaster in a fun way, um, because you do get a lot of humor, and then there's a lot of poignant moments, and... and the, the great thing is that people tell us that they leave the theater and they talk about it uh, when they leave. They don't. It's not just, you know, let's go get some drinks and dessert or food or whatever. Let's, you know, let's talk about what we just saw, which as a theater artist is really gratifying. I feel like um, if you want to see a play that um, has a lot of humor and a lot of heart and um, hopefully is not sentimental but uh, really makes you think, and um, uh, sort of deals with some political issues and issues of faith um, from a very sort of human standpoint, come and see the play.